Hi guys, from Team Video. So today we'll continue with the sixth mission of Enador campaign from the Knights and Merchants, The Secrets of the Universe. And as you can see, it will be located in the City of Thieves, uh, which is right here above the above the underground that we were fighting in the last mission with Elven Queen. So of course it will connect to that storyline. So let's take a look at the opening animation. So I will start the game. And as you can see, there is only one enemy in this mission, which are the thieves. So let's start it and uh, let's see how the storyline will continue. When the Elven Queen finally made it out of the catacombs, she found herself in the middle of the city of thieves. They immediately captured her and locked her in the prison tower. Sir Godfrey must now free her and purge the city of the thieves' scum. But he must be careful, because the thieves bring monsters from distant islands in ships and they do not hesitate to use them in battle. Where am I? Intruder, grab her. So as you saw, uh, the Elven Queen finally got out of the catacombs, uh, as we managed to do that in the last mission. But right now she got immediately captured here in this prison tower by the thieves uh, in the city of thieves. Greetings, travelers. The Elven Queen was captured by the thieves in the prison tower in the city. To rescue her, you'll need help, which you'll find in the woods to the east of the city. But beware, this part of the forest is occupied by giant spiders. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, so as you heard from this envoy, uh, he actually gave us a hint. Uh, so we also received a side quest, optional quest, that we should explore the forest east of the city, uh, which will be somewhere around here. And here we should find something that uh, should help us a little bit in the fight because of course this city is quite well fortified and it will be quite a challenge to uh, conquer it. Uh, also we have only Sir Godfrey as a hero in this mission and we are starting just with this small base of stone keep and farm so we need to start making something early quickly. Uh, as you can see we can already make knights, uh, make knights in this mission which is really useful. So we'll definitely Excellent utilize idea. that, but uh, right now of course we don't have enough resources for that, so idea. that's something that we'll uh, make a use of later. Right now we just need to expand our city, city a little bit. Uh, let's explore around, but I believe there is nothing we can go uh, pick up, because uh, there was the entrance to the catacomb somewhere, a little bit uh, more to the south of course, and there is a lake, and there, there is a sea, so... If you saw the map that I was showing in the beginning, of course, you can imagine it a little bit better. But uh, there is just nowhere to go for us right now. So we just need to wait here. As you can see, there are already walls that are pretty well defended. So we cannot, we can really, really cannot move anywhere. We just need to push through this wall of uh, towers and, uh, and units and walls as well. So it will be really challenging. We have only this one mine for us right now, but once we conquer this this small city, we'll definitely get some more resources. And uh, let's just start with some swordsmen, I think. That will be the most efficient thing for us right now. I am here, uh, also need to maximize uh, gems as quickly as possible. I should be probably a little bit quicker with that, because we have only one gems mine and... I believe we will run out of gems really quickly once we start making some priests and potentially knights as well. And we also we want to, to have done. 10 peasants on gold and then also we will need some more on wood as well. But right now I'm just uh, making soldiers here. Uh, let's maybe make one more barracks and uh, the temple. Also this is the area where my hero will resurrect of course if he dies. So that's definitely something we want to make really good of uh, make really good use of as well. And we still have those abilities of course to summon an additional knight, which will be the ancient knight of Enedor. And also we have the prayer ability. Uh, all the things that you already know from the previous mission. The only exception was the last mission where we of course only had the Elven Queen. And uh, it was even more special because we were not able to use her abilities. 
So let's just make a group for our buildings. Yeah, maybe we can also upgrade it to advanced barracks. Make some more peasants. Right now this is enough, but uh, I still need two more for wood. Also, as you can see, there are only like three trees down here, and then I will need to start harvesting in front of my town, which will be even harder. So uh, we really need to make really good defense really quickly. Maybe we will build some towers, but right now I don't have any wood, so I cannot afford it. And maybe let's also make a blacksmith because I also want to have some uh, some crossbowmen and also we need to upgrade our units as well. Also I can use this temple to heal my Sir Godfrey because he got a little bit injured where I, uh, when I was exploring here. Yeah, as you can see this is still the same enemy, thieves, uh, yeah that's the same teal color. Also we saw it in the beginning where we were starting the mission that there is only one enemy. So we won't encounter anyone else, but uh, of course after we defeat this town, a uh, larger portion of the map will open to us and we can maybe uh, kill some neutral enemies to receive some bonuses, of course. And we still have that uh, side quest to explore this area for something really valuable for us, of course. My sword serves you. Yeah, right now I don't have enough wood for anything, so let's just keep uh, making more swordsmen and priests. But we also ran out of population, so we'll need to make two more farms. Excellent idea. And let's also use those resources that we have right now for some soldiers. I want to upgrade the armor of my swordsmen, and then we'll start making some crossbowmen and upgrade their damage. Because, of course, in the front I can just tank the damage with the Ancient Knight of Enedor, potentially with my hero as well. Uh, I can also heal them with priests, but I will need strong, uh, strong offensive pressure, of course. And that's something I can easily achieve with ranged units. So let's just focus on those crossbowmen a little bit for now. I still have enough gems, so I can also make some more priests. And uh, I will probably not upgrade to castle and uh, build the circle of ancients until I defeat this town because I don't think I will really have enough resources for that. It would just slow me down and uh, I believe this is just more efficient for now. Uh, also the maximum population is 150 in this mission which is already quite decent. Yeah, it's almost 200 which is the standard for uh, normal armies of Exegol maps of course. And we already have first two crossbowmen. I mean, this is a decent army, uh, not too big, but uh, the hero is pretty strong, so I should be able to easily defend uh, first enemy attack. And if I have some problems uh, with next attacks, I can just build some of those towers, as I mentioned. But towers are usually a good option if you just don't have enough gems for soldiers, which is not the case right now, because uh, actually this resource that we are missing the most right now is gold. So I don't think done? it's really smart to build towers right now. Complete, I would be just wasting resources uh, that I could invest into my units that I can also use for uh, offensive pressure. Of course, I will need to push them as well, not just defend myself. So investing into towers uh, wouldn't be too smart, I believe. Maybe we can build some of them later uh, in the second town that we will build there. Yes, so it's it's not that easy to defeat this because you also need to get through those walls, either destroy them or you will need to go around around them. So definitely need a little bit more soldiers than this. And I also probably want to wait for the enemy to attack first, so we can actually see how much units he has. And he's already attacking. As you can see, he doesn't really have normal soldiers. He has all of those weird units. Uh, of the of the thieves faction, so he will probably kill some of my swordsmen, but it should be fine. We can just retreat with them a little bit, maybe heal them. If I played it a little bit better, I could just tank even more damage with my hero and don't lose all of those swordsmen. As you can see, those red jacks are quite powerful. Yeah, he has 350 HP and 20 damage. Which is definitely stronger than swordsman. 
Uh, but they also have some of those cross bowmen that are in the defense, so I also need to uh, count with that we'll because be we also done. need to defeat those uh, ranged units. And we can either do that with our cross bowmen, but maybe some more melee units might be also useful. I also want to have at least five priests. Uh, there is no resurrection ability, so I don't need too many of them, but I at least want to have enough mana to bless all of my ranged units and melee units, and then also some mm, more mana to uh, heal myself during the fight, of course. Yeah, but as I said, five priests should be enough. And let's actually improve the improved farming, research it so we have even more population, because we are getting... Uh, we don't have too much more space here, so... It won't be too efficient to build too many more farms. Also, we uh, started harvesting this last tree here, so this peasant is already going to be harvesting here, which is definitely a little bit too dangerous for me, so I need to start pushing as soon as possible. And potentially we can maybe build third barracks, but let's actually maybe invest into some of those upgrades first, maybe even castle. I definitely need this uh, iron arrow upgrade. Yeah, also let's make more soldiers, but as I mentioned right now, we don't have enough population for that. But before those units will be finished, I will already have the improved farming upgrade researched. And then we should have enough population to easily make enough soldiers to push our enemy. Uh, here we actually stuck uh, deer between our units, so let's maybe let go in my way. Ah, he seemed a little bit buck. The bug doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just keep producing more units, and as I mentioned, we'll also need some more melee units. So let's just keep creating swordsmen here and crossbowmen here to keep it balanced. At your service. Ready and, and as you can see, we already have a full group of crossbowmen. Uh, actually, even three more. So let's just make groups like this. I have three groups. Uh, group number three is only crossbowmen. Group number two is five priests, and the rest are crossbowmen. And group number one are melee units. So my hero and uh, all these swordsmen that we have. Uh, you can also search the trailblazing upgrade here, which will increase the movement speed of your swordsmen. But I don't feel like uh, that's really necessary right now because <laughs> there is nowhere to go, so we don't need movement speed, of course. Uh, let's build a circle of ancients, even though I don't think we will be making any knights yet. But I want to have it uh, ready, so I can just uh, build barracks here immediately once I expand there and start making knights right away. So this army is already starting to look pretty decent. We can also upgrade Swords Master here, which will upgrade the damage of our Swordsmen, but as I mentioned, the main power, offensive power of our army will be uh, crossbowmen, so I will rather just upgrade Steel Arrow here in my Blacksmith. And let's just wait for those two more Swordsmen, and the, then we will probably just attack our enemy. Of course, uh, we can also save it, so... Uh, so we have no problem uh, potentially restarting it, but I believe we should be able to finish the, uh, this first town. So let's just quickly save it here and uh, let's move forward. First of all, you want to summon your knight, press the ability of prayer, and of course, bless your army. I can also use the prayer on my Sir Godfrey. But as you can see, we are easily able to fight them. Uh, those walls are pretty durable, so you potentially don't really want to uh, waste your offensive power on them. You want to shoot the unit first. Also, those towers are pretty dangerous. As you can see, he also has a lot of more units there. So maybe we'll need one more attack, but I at least want to kill as many units as I can with my ranged units. Hey, I will just let my hero die because he will resurrect with full HP. Let's move away from those towers, maybe use some of my swordsmen. I don't know if he will follow me, maybe this was an enemy attack at, attack at the same time with when I was attacking as well. Yeah, but we managed to kill him. Uh, there are of course some 
more things that we will need to defeat, but at least we pushed through the first part, let's say. So now I will just regroup everything. Yeah, we still have 15 crossbowmen, five priests, and now I started making some knights finally. So we have something even stronger in the front. And also I will just wait for my hero to resurrect and then we'll attack once again. I carry basically the immediately. I will do as you ask. And uh, that should be like the perfect time to finish him because I will run out of this tree. So I will need to harvest here even with more peasants. And also I already have everything that I need. I only need more resources so I can start making soldiers even quicker. Also we can upgrade a prayer for all of our knights, not just our hero and also horse armor here, but first of all I want to upgrade plate mail here, so our knights are even tankier, and then potentially even iron sword for some damage. But of course we can wait with that, and potentially invest those resources to one more knight first. So we will have four of them, even though I probably won't wait for this last one, because my hero will already resurrect after 20 seconds. So let's just start regrouping and prepare for that attack. Uh, of course he won't repair his towers or something, so that should be pretty fine. Yeah, he has one crossbowman here. But I can just easily heal my injured knight. And Sir Godfrey should be ready in one second. So we will just add him to our army and let's just straight up attack. I will summon the knight once again. Let's tank all the damage with him and let's move forward. Once again I want to bless all of my units. Uh, this is a really dangerous area so let's just send that summoned knight of Enedor there. So he can tank all the damage. Also I'm shooting all the walls here, that's really inefficient. Maybe it wasn't so smart to make so many crossbowmen here because it's really difficult to get uh, any meaningful value from them, but hopefully we'll manage to do it over time. I'll just move my units here because uh, there are all the enemies. Maybe move some of my injured units back a little bit. And we managed to defeat him. So now I'll just clear this so I can make my expansion here. Uh, also we need one new peasant and... Actually, if I if I upgraded teamwork before, I could just build that expansion even quicker with five peasants. But since we didn't do that, we we'll just need to uh, do it just with one peasant. So it will take a little bit more time, but it should be still fine. Uh, here you want to be uh, really careful so your units does, uh, don't run here, because then they will just get killed by crossbowmen that are standing on those walls. But if you are careful enough, you should be easily able to clear all the buildings here and then you can just build your expansion. So it should be right here, where he had his main town hall. As you can see there is not uh, too many resources, but it's still basically the same amount that you have in your base town and it should be enough for the whole mission. And we can also already start making some new peasants in our main town hall. Yeah, here I was blocking with my knights the building process, so I just moved them a little bit. And let's just finish this last blacksmith and this wall. And as you can see, it's like a small village, yeah, so there are some, uh, some details around that you can look at. And now I want to explore this area that uh, the... The envoy was actually talking about, as you can see they are shooting me here, so I will just go there with my Sir Godfrey, so my whole army doesn't get killed. I will just heal him after that. You should be easily able to defeat anything uh, of those neutral enemies, just with your hero, because you can summon that ancient knight of Enedor. So I will just use him to tank the damage. And now I will just kill all of those spiders, as you can see. He also said that, yeah, he said that uh, beware, this part of the forest is occupied by giant spiders. So I'm just uh, showing to you that uh, he was right. Yeah, I'm just making more soldiers. I believe there will be some more attacks coming, but I'm not 100% sure. 
but we want to be definitely prepared to uh, defend our city. Here we have one more knight. And as you can see, all the damage was tanked by the Ancient Knight of Anador. There are some more enemies that you need to kill. And actually you will need to enter this well of far side uh, with some small units. So you cannot do that with knights or your hero. So I will just take one swordsman and go there. Uh, he will get attacked here, but since he's full HP, I believe he will survive. Uh, let's just take a look around. There should be maybe... Oh, and now I moved my whole army. That was not too smart. Uh, maybe there will be some more neutral enemies that we can potentially kill and get some more uh, resources or objects from them. Some items, so let's check it. And now I have my swordsman here, so let's take a look. As you can see, we completed... I believe it belongs to the Elven Queen. We completed, uh, completed the side quest and we received a phoenix. Uh, use the phoenix to reveal enemy invisible units. The phoenix cannot attack, but it's invulnerable. So this is a really powerful tool for this mission uh, that you can easily use to scout your enemies because the phoenix cannot be killed. Also, you can reveal uh, stealth units with him, which is really useful. So right now I will just uh, use him to see what's against me. As you can see, there is really strong defense and there are lots of stealth units. Uh, also, there are manticores. Uh, as you can see, they are kind of following the phoenix, but they cannot attack him. So once you fly away, they will just uh, return to their original place. Uh, there is the prison tower that we need to defeat, uh, to destroy, to free up the elven queen. And here is also the boss of the thieves. Uh, he is quite strong, but... It should be no problem to defeat him. Uh, of course, keep in mind that he, since he has those manticores, you will need some ranged units. So definitely really important to keep that in mind. And here are some here are some runes. Actually, our enemy is attacking with pretty large attack. I wasn't expecting that. So I don't even have my hero here right now. But as you can see, those knights are pretty durable. So we should be able to defeat them. And I don't see any stealth units yet here, so we probably don't need the Phoenix for defense. Also, I was able to level up my knight, so right now we have the Lesser Hour of Vitality, which is giving us some HP, giving us some HP to all of our units. Uh, of course, right now I was not definitely paying attention to anything at all, so we have a ton of resources that we could have already used. Also, I want to upgrade everything. I oh, probably don't need this. I will be making only knights. But we want to make like, let's say, five more barracks to maximize the potential. So we can produce units really fast. Also, maybe we will need some more peasants on wood. Even though there is still not many trees, uh, trees you can maybe build a blacksmith right here or something and uh, get more wood there if you need. But right now I still have some potential to harvest here. So let's do it like this. And now I believe uh, you cannot go through this uh, path. So I will need to go around actually. I got attacked by those manticoras so I need to go away really quickly. Uh, just around, yeah, I will get attack here once more, but uh, I will just heal myself once I get here. And then we will continue this way and pick up some of those uh, winter amulets, which can actually summon some wolves. As you can see, there is uh, like five of them, and the each of them should summon like three wolves or something, so that will be really useful. There is also white wolf, maybe he will drop some resources or something, so uh, really good that we could explore it with our phoenix. There are some more crossbowmen, but I mean, that Sir Godfrey is really durable, so it should be no problem for him. Potentially you can just go there with your army if you want, but I just like to clear all neutral enemies with my hero. And now I will just walk through here. 
Maybe kill this wolf to see if uh, he drops something. Yeah, maybe let's just summon that ancient knight so he can tank the damage for us. Yeah, we received 350 gems, which is really useful, of course. Well, I mean, it's not too useful right now, but if you have are actually spending your resources properly and not uh, so poorly as I did, then you will definitely make use of this. Uh, we also need a few more farms, so let's deal with that and let's make some more priests as well. Now let's move before this knight disappears, of course. Let's just kill them with that ancient knight and my hero will only pick up those amulets. Yeah, it seems like we are not getting anything from killing those wolves, so it's not that important. And uh, this should be everything. So now let's just return to our army and heal our hero, because he's already under half HP. Yeah, there is one more wolf, but we don't need to kill him, as I said. We won't receive anything from that. Our phoenix can stay here, so we can see enemy attacks a little bit sooner. I believe the army that is being accumulated in this area is the army that will attack us later. Uh, all of the rest is just defending army. Yeah, my hero is already being healed, so that's fine. And now I don't even have <laughs> too much more population, but... Of course, at this point I would just create more units. Seems like we have only five priests, even though I already one created. So let's just make two more in the barracks. And then I will just make one more knight and we are out of population at this point. So let's just wait a little bit and then we'll try to attack our enemies, of course. Uh, at this point I should definitely maybe start building some towers, because that's the only way I, I, I could use those resources, since I don't have more population, but it should be still fine like this. Actually, if this is offensive army, then he is also making tax right now, which is the stealth unit, so maybe we will need that phoenix. I'm not 100% sure, so let's just make a new group with him, so we can move him quickly. At your service. And yeah, this is group number one. And we have priests and crossbowmen in group number three. Maybe we could wait for him to attack first, but I don't feel like waiting for him at this point. Let's just queue up some knights in our barracks. So we can start making soldiers immediately. Uh, it just consumed all of our resources, but that should be fine. And now let's just save it, just to make sure. And let's move forward. So of course I want to use the prayer ability. Of course this is really a massacre. He's just killing me with all of those ranged units. But I just need to destroy those towers as quickly as possible, of course. Uh, it's really good to have some of those crossbowmen here, because that will really make sure that you can he you can kill his crossbowmen. Also, we want to summon our Ancient Knight. Use prayer abilities on everything. Yeah, I definitely want to go there with, with that Ancient Knight. And as you can see, everything died, of course, but uh, we are al already making a really strong army once again. Yeah, we are in out of gems, but this should be no problem. We also lost our hero, but it should be fine. And I'm just killing those crossbowmen, basically one by one. Let's actually retreat a little bit. And let's just keep killing those crossbowmen here. Of course, those are not dangerous for me anymore when I attack this way. We destroy the main defense part, but uh, I still want to make sure that they die. I can easily heal myself with Priest while he is just uh, getting destroyed there. Maybe it will be harder to kill him here because he has healing fountain, but outside of that uh, I should be easily able to kill him with my crossbowmen. Actually, here he just put my peasant on wood. That's really unfortunate. Huh? The there is one tree that we could I potentially assume. harvest. That's not uh, so in front. 
Yeah, of course, our hero will resurrect here. Unfortunately, you cannot move this point somewhere closer, but that should be fine. We are also creating some soldiers here, so it should be no problem. And we also still don't have all the upgrades, as you can see. We don't need armor for... Actually, maybe armor for crossbowmen might be quite decent, since we are shooting uh, enemy crossbowmen while they are killing me, but I don't think that's uh, it is so valuable. I believe damage for our knights will be better option for now. And at this point, let's make some more crossbowmen. Maybe even one more, so we have... Oh, actually, I made priests, not, not crossbowmen, so that was my bad. Let's make six of them, uh, so we can fill this group. I carry the light. Your and maybe six priests might Our be enough. Actually, I have some crossbowmen here, okay, so then we don't even need so many of them. Here we have full group. But maybe let's just make more crossbowmen. Actually, I already have full population, so we don't even need to worry about that. Let's queue up some knights. Uh, we don't have more gems, so this will be everything. And now, let's just group up every all the units that we made. So it should be like this. We are missing one knight in group number one, but that should be fine. Our crossbowman got stuck here a little bit, but we are able to move him. And now I will just save it one more time, just to make sure. And uh, let's rush them. Of course, once again, I'm trying to use everything I can. Definitely want to bless my army. I should have done that before I attacked. It would be smarter, but this is still good value. Yeah, I was able to summon this knight in the front, which is really useful. And now I don't need to move him in the front, so we can tank all those towers. Also, you could use those winter amulets to summon some wolves here to potentially kill those crossbowmen. So let's try that really quickly. As you can see, they are not too strong, so I will potentially maybe only level up those crossbowmen. But I mean, they are useless anyways. I mean, those wolves. So it's just better to use them at least for this. As you can see, those stacks are pretty strong, yeah, they are even stronger than knights, maybe. Or maybe not so strong, but they are definitely powerful. So we'll need a little bit more offensive power to kill them. Actually, there is a level 5 stack, I really need to kill him. And right now I will just retreat once more. Uh, it will be much harder to recover at this point, because uh, before I had those saved up resources. But right now... I just need to wait for gems to harvest, of course. Actually, our dire wolf here was successful in killing those crossbowmen. As you can see, there is an underground that you can enter, and here you should be able to pick up some resources, I believe. Uh, or not resources, but items. Yeah, it is, it is a mana dust. There are some enemies, but I don't need to worry about them. I just wanted to pick up that item. There is one more, but oh, I didn't. I was not fast enough to get it. And there is also another underground that you can go there, maybe pick up some healing dusts or something. But of course you cannot enter it with your phoenix, or maybe you can enter it, but you cannot pick up those items. Can't even enter it, so you just need to go there with some ground units. So the only way to get there without killing all those enemies here uh, is with those summoned wolves, of course. So... We are already close to this last part, where he has most of his units, but I still need one more strong attack to defeat him. So let's produce some more knights. Yeah, we are making seven of them right now, so that should be quite fine. Potentially I can just create more swordsmen, of course, because they cost only gold. That's the only unit that costs only gold, so... We can easily do that, but let's just keep trying like this. We still have some more upgrades to make. And I mean, we have two gems mines, so it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be that slow. 
as you can see there are some windmills that you could potentially capture but you cannot get uh, to any of those buildings without destroying your enemies so it's totally useless for you yeah there is also merchant house and merchant wagon all of those things will be generate, uh, generating resources but we cannot get there so let's see how many knights we have of course we already have our hero back there should be one more knight being created somewhere it will be done yeah here so we need like three more knights to make a full group which is something I definitely want, so we need a little bit I more gems. Restless. Who needs healing? But actually, as you can see, uh, we lost all of Who our priests. Healing? So maybe let's just let's just remove this and make some priests I first. Because light. I want to have at least five of them, so we can keep our army healthy. Uh, mostly our crossbowmen, of course, because they were being shot by enemy crossbowmen. But at this point, maybe... Uh, even those knights will be nice. Uh, it will be nice to heal them, of course. That is quite a lot of those stealth units, and uh, some of them are even pretty leveled up, which is definitely making them even stronger. Yeah, he has 100 more HP, for example. But, I mean, we should be able to defeat them with our knights. We also have the hero. So it should be fine. Hopefully we can make uh, some of those more knights. But I just need more population, so let's just make uh, four more crossbowmen as well. We should have all five priests ready. And now we'll just wait for the last one knight and two more crossbowmen. Uh, four more crossbowmen. Also I will invest some... <coughs> invest some more gems into enchanted sword which will even uh, which will make my knight even stronger and then we'll make the final push maybe he will attack me first actually because uh, he already has quite a few soldiers here but it should be no problem yeah this mission is not too difficult i would say you just need to wait a little bit make multiple attacks and uh, you should be just able to Push through those uh, defensives. My life is at your service. I am I a Ready servant. and waiting. So I believe everything sh everything should be at created at this point. So let's just regroup a little servant. bit. And yeah, I won't even save it at this point. I carry the let's light. just make sure that we have our blessings ready. Not like the previous times. And now I will actually summon the Ancient Knight of Enedor. And let me actually use this ability to regenerate mana. Even though I cannot use him immediately again. I at least want to have full mana. Maybe you can also use prayer ability. I should have used that before, but it should be fine. Also use prayer ability on all of my knights as well. Maybe also bless this uh, Ancient Knight of Enedor. And also let's start making some more soldiers, yes, swordsmen as well. I just need to make sure I have full population. Uh, right now we will need all of those crossbowmen to kill those uh, manticores, of course. So let's just move them here and let's start killing those manticores one by one. And here we need to be careful, as you can see here is the boss of thieves and uh, he's killing my knights pretty quickly, so I would actually prefer if he started attacking that ancient knight of Anador. Uh, he will despawn really quickly, but I mean the boss is almost dead. We also killed all the Manticores. And as you can see in the quest, uh, you only need to rescue the Elven Queen and actually cleanse the city of all these. So we will need to kill him as well and destroy all buildings. But as you can see, those buildings are neutral. The only buildings you need to destroy are the ones that are... Uh, that are the cover of your enemy on the minimap, of course. So I can maybe use my phoenix to explore it. So we can see everything. And actually potentially once we destroy the prison tower we should receive the Elven Queen. So we'll have one more hero even though we won't need it anymore for this mission. It will be at least something that can help us destroy those buildings a little bit quicker. 
progress. Also, I want to explore this uh, second cellar as well, so I can show you once again all the parts of the mission. Also, we want to kill those last crossbowmen. Prison tower is like half HP, so that's really good. Here you can see uh, is the second cellar. Here are some varangis, but you can pick up actually four dusts, which is really good. And as you can see, we received Elven Queen once we helped her escape. Yeah, some small dialogues, nothing too interesting. Yeah, we can also go check the second cellar once again, because there should be also four of those potions. Uh, not potions, but dusts. As you can see, there is different strength of them. There is one for 300 HP, two for 100 HP, and one for 200 HP. Yeah, it seems like there is only two mana dusts. There are only, actually, I used only, already one of them, so there are three mana dusts in this cellar. And there are only two more buildings left, so let's just destroy them. Of course, we can also use uh, abilities of our Elven Queen at this point. Also, maybe produce some more Elf units. We must end this war. But we don't need it anymore. Yeah, I can maybe use Starfall here. Start uh, Sunstrike. Yeah, but it's already won at this point, of course. So yes, this was the sixth mission. Now let's check the results, of course. As you can see, we have all the scores. Everything better, even though the resources were pretty close. Uh, we also produced basically the same amount of units, but uh, we also killed like two and a half uh, the times of uh, what he killed and lost. And here we have the largest army, which definitely he had more units, but. He was not able to fight with them too well. Uh, then we have experience gained, uh, also some buildings. Yeah, I was not building any towers, so constructed. Uh, the number is not too high. Then we have some destroyed buildings. He didn't destroy anything. He only killed some of my units, but he didn't get to my town. And then we have NPC captures. Uh, that's the altar that we captured to receive the Phoenix. Uh, of course, all the researches, or I actually didn't research everything, but all of the ones that we needed. And then we have resources, so as you can see, we harvested quite lots of wood actually, also gems, but uh, we definitely had more gold. Uh, so yeah, this was the sixth mission, pretty interesting. Uh, it was definitely not so special as the last mission, the previous one, but yeah, it was a little bit more traditional, but uh, I mean, it was still pretty, pretty, pretty something interesting. And next time we'll take a look at the seventh mission, uh, which will be pretty similar, I would say. Yeah, again, nothing too special, but it will introduce us to, let's say, the next part of this whole campaign. Yeah, it will move the storyline in another direction, let's say. So, uh, take care, guys. Mm -hmm.